In this video, we will be given exclusive behind the scenes access to the laboratories of the Centre for Research of Odd Clocks. Today, we will follow this replica, or more correctly, fake Breitling, through the tests that will lead it to become an officially certified croc. Today's tests will be carried out for us by the Centre's director, Dr. Rick, under strict test conditions and employing all relevant safety equipment. The water resistance is tested first. But why boiling water, you may ask? Well, let's ask Dr. Rick. The simple answer is, it looks funnier. Of course, the question is, how do you like your fake brightings? Hard-boiled or soft-boiled? Three minutes should be just about perfectly done. Hmm, perfect. On initial inspection, the watch seems to have passed the first test well. But, on closer inspection, it appears the mock sapphire glass has fallen out. The Centre for Research of Odd Clocks, being expert watchmakers, know that this may have affected the water resistance of this particular timepiece. Dr. Rick will use his expert horologist watch knowledge to reassemble the watch before the next test. After the almost invisible repairs, the watch needs to be completely dry before going on to the next test. Dr. Rick will use a special process for this. It is important to note that this should not be tried at home. Dr. Rick can only perform this process because he is a certified idiot. After the drying process, the watch has, understandably, lost some of its original luster. Dr. Rick will now reapply the decorative polish to the case using a specialist machine.
Dr. Rick's expert hands. The watch is now almost back to its factory finish condition. After polishing, the next stage is to check the lateral compression capability of the watch. It is said that Dr. Rick has many vices. This is one of them. That's just a little watchmaker's joke. <laughs> After the lateral compression test, and a small break for Dr. Rick to apply a plaster to his finger, it is time for the final test of the croc evaluation process, the shock resistance test. The shock resistance test is a two-stage test. For stage one, Dr. Rick has a penchant for rubber. As we can see, this is a particularly fine crock because it has passed the first test with only the loss of the crown and a couple of numbers. For stage two of the shock test, Dr. Rick likes to break out the heavy metal. Having now completed all five tests, the magical time has arrived. Yes, this watch will now receive the coveted Croc certificate. Yes indeed, the watch is now an officially certified Croc.